Hey guys, it's Mike Lott, uh, bringing you Crisis, because as you know, I got a new video card very recently, so I decided what better way to stress test it by playing one of my favorite games of all time, uh, with tons of eye candy, uh, with some mods installed for better, uh, to get more juice out of this, uh, system, so let's, let's get going. Hey, Nomad, you still with us? Okay, listen up, gentlemen. Intel reports a significant military presence on the island. We have the element of surprise, so let's use it. The North Koreans can't know we're here. They won't even know what hit them. <laughs> Can it, Psycho? Pay attention. This is a covert operation. Our job is to locate and evacuate. We're not at war here. Not yet. Oh, Prophet, do we even know if these people are still alive? That's what we're here to find out. We lost contact with Dr. Rosenthal a week ago when the Korean military locked down the island. Two days ago, we picked up a distress signal from the team's research vessel. Someone down there wants to be found. Raptor team, we're beginning approach. Stand by for green. All right, gear up. Masks on. Once we clear the plane, form up on me. Shoots on my mark. Green in five, four, Three, two, one. Go, go, go! See you guys at the LZ. So, Jaysox 
Prescott is chasing archaeologists now? Yeah, this will be a cakewalk. I've heard of this guy. He must have found something big to buy all of this heat. Whatever. Fifty bucks says this Rosenthal ain't the real reason we're here. Lock it up, team. Stay focused. We got limited intel going in. Upcom's being moved to the USS Constitution. Until they're five by five, we're on our own. Shoot on my command! Go! What the hell? You see that? No man's in! He lost the shoot! My shoot's gone! My damn shoot is gone! I've got no man, no reserve. Keep it together, kid. You're over water. The suit should absorb the impact. <laughs> no man, what's your status? I'm okay, I'm okay. But my HUD scrambled. What the hell was that? I don't know, but you missed the LZ. Make your way to the beach. On my way. Did anyone hit the LZ? You guys are all over the place. Check in. Psycho here. Down and on the move. Just as down. You see the LZ. Aztec, I have negative visual feed from your unit. Report. Aztec, report. Damn it. Prophet, I've made it to the beach. You hit the water pretty hard. Some of your suit functions are offline. Let me run a quick diagnostic. Your video feed is breaking up. We're gonna try to recalibrate. All right. Your suit checks out. You're back online. Still no word from Aztec. Nomad, rendezvous with Jester and head to Aztec's location. Check your objectives display. All right. Well, welcome to Crisis. So we're we're doing a little bit of a night ops mission. Very nice moonlight there. Uh, so first things first, uh, a little bit about the game. So I'm uh, apparently every weapon now has uh, sorry every every weapon has like uh, you can just uh, customize a bunch of attachments. Flashlight probably not such a good idea since you know it's one of those situations if uh, they can see the flashlight they can see you. Tactical attachment is more like a uh, it it kind of like a. Uh, makes people uh, go to sleep kind of a thing and reflex sight so you can change like a whole customize a whole bunch of things on the move and you unlock more things as you progress through the game which is kind of cool now the whole gimmick with this game is um, it's it's all about the the nano suit the suit that you have and so right now I'm on armor mode which is basically uh, the energy bar you see which is in the blue in the bottom right corner acts as a, a extra shield for me but uh, I can go into things like uh, speed, where I I basically do not get that armor anymore, but I move much faster, as you can see. And sprinting goes really fast and drains the the energy. And so there's actually four modes in total. Strength allows me to punch punch things really uh, hard and just just belay belay everything, and that uses up energy. Or I can jump onto the top of things like this, which is kind of cool. And uh, the last one, which is one of the cooler abilities, you get the ability to have cloak. So it depletes rather slowly while I'm standing still, but while I'm moving or sprinting, it goes faster. So it's b purely based upon movement speed. And so shield is usually the default one because nothing uses it. Uh, it's it's a nice one to have basically uh, just in case like there's going to be some, some gunfire or something. It's kind of like your go-to when you're in combat, which is kind of nice. And obviously the last thing here was the weapon menu that you just saw earlier. And so this is actually really a really uh, quite a nice game. Uh, it I liked it a lot. It was... It, it, it kind of had trouble starting out, and I don't really like the later editions of the games because they, they became less about these nice big open environments and more about limitations of the consoles and things like that, which, you know, I, I couldn't care less uh, about things like that. So, here we get our first little encounter. Make sure your silence is attached. Maximum armor. Careful, no man. Enemy contact up ahead. So we can, the great thing is we can kind of cloak, we can see uh, what's around, we can kind of like just observe our position. So this is on Delta difficulty and it's it's kind of interesting because the character, the enemies will not talk in English, they will talk in Korean, I do not get a crosshair, and the game is actually fairly difficult, so let's go kill this guy. So if if I if I uh, decloak and, uh, sorry, if I'm cloaked and I kill someone, it drains the rest of my energy, so you want to be kind of careful. Uh, when you use this, and so one of the one of the the strategies, like the enemy is completely dumbfounded to the cloak, like he's right now um, apparently taking a piss in the bushes or something. But it actually it it, it makes it actually fairly easy, because uh, you know I'm I'm cloaked right now, you know, and then I just kind of come out and then like oh look there's a guy. 
the enemies do get more difficult as you progress through the game. And you do have to pick up ammunition uh, as you go along. Like, uh, the default weapon you get, which is the SCAR, actually doesn't have a whole lot of uh, ammo lying around for it. So, which is why probably upgrading one of these is a good idea. And they give you, once again, the tactical attachment and a whole bunch of other things. And so I'll, I'll utilize the tactical attachment in a minute uh, when I get the opportunity to show you guys. But it's a, it's, it's a very rich, open game, which, which looks really pretty. So it's, it's why I kind of want to really... This is the one game I would want to show off. And I think I, uh, I had the flashlight on. Maybe I should take that off. So now we have to go rendezvous with our uh, teammates here and uh, also admire the beautiful scenery. No man, up here. Come on, let's get to Aztec. Prophet, I'm not alone out here. What have you got, Aztec? KPA, Fort Main Patrol. Have you been compromised? Negative. But they're close. Wait, something's. Aztec, talk to me! Smother us on things, Ima! Aztec, sound off now! Prophet, help me! No man, just get to him now! Go! Go! I wonder what happened to this guy. No man, better stick to armor. Never know where. We're supposed to go fast. What is that? That is beautiful. Oh wow. Like this man. Shit, son of a bitch. Tester, reported. What's Aztec status? Dead, boss. Damn it. What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone out here. What have you got? KPA? Negative, sir. We got four dead Koreans, but there's no way Aztec killed them. Something else took these guys out. Tore their bodies up bad. All right. Pay your respects and move on. Rendezvous at the landing zone. What about Aztec, sir? We just gonna leave them hanging here? Negative. We're gonna vaporize. We can't allow the Koreans to get their hands on that suit. Stand back. Damn it. Never get used to that. Adios, amigo. Chester, take care of his equipment and cover our tracks. Nomad, move out to the LZ. Got it, boss. I'm on it, Prophet. I don't think he has any more equipment. Also, what if he vaporized the wrong person? Like, imagine like he just clicked the wrong person on his what suit. What the hell was that? Well, might as well take some of this scar ammo. Well, uh, see you later, uh, whoever you are. All right, well, let's let's uh, continue with the game. Max, hold on, Strike. I'm seeing movement ahead. Switch to cloak mode. Cloak engaged. KPA patrol. Deal with them. Nice and quiet. Pistol. I'm gonna pistol them just to make this more challenging. Even though I'm cloaking, and you can also see your legs in this game. 
which is a big deal for some. Okay, so apparently melaying people in the in the back of the head does not actually work as well as I would have hoped. Let's go grab him. Oh, he did actually see me out close. <laughs> so this is one of the mechanics of this game. You can grab people and hold on to them. Uh, and make and it's it's obviously a great way to make friends. Uh, and they they actually functioned a little bit as a body it's a body shield kind of mechanic. And then you can kind of just toss them away. And if you're feeling especially mean, you can grab them with strength mode. Oh wait. wait. And done. It could also be used as a tactic to basically warn the Koreans. You just throw them down a hill. I just lost our comsat to JSON. Our whole tactical displays down. The KPA must be using a GPS jammer to your location. Find it and take it out. Copy, Prophet. I'm on it. So one of the things I really like about this game, opposed to the later ones, is that these suit f the suit modes are actually pretty pretty very well done. Like I like the sprint how it actually goes fast and isn't just like a, a steady thing. That looks very pretty. We spotted KPA patrols down on the beach. Use your binocs to tag them before you run in line. I see a large transmitting array. That must be the jamming station. Chicken. This is where actually the game really, really, really picks up. Uh oh. He's kind of looking in my direction, so I naturally was a little bit fearful. Okay. He doesn't suspect a thing. So we're going to just head down the cliff here. Can't wait until we get some better sights. The sights really help out, like you wouldn't believe. And they're great because you can have like a, a sniper scope on an AK, AK weapon or something. You know, just kind of whatever you want. So you could also use like physics to kill things. You just go in and run and gun. Uh, also, there's a bit of clipping as you can see because my FOV is turned up really high. Because the game was not originally meant for this. So, if you want, you can play very stealthily, uh, if this is the way you like to play. Uh oh. This is unfortunately the problem. There's no scripting in this. Uh, well, that's not a problem in the slightest, but uh, he saw me kill his friend, and he just called for reinforcements. And that boat is now on its way. Uh, so, we're not, in, we're not gonna have much luck here. This is gonna be pretty bad. Let's go take some of this ammunition just before I uh, continue on my merry way. And let's also take the broom and throw it at someone. <laughs> now I could have sworn there was the the boat was was about to give me some trouble. Because you either they'll send cars or they'll send something else. So, you know, typically playing stealthy is preferred. Uh, also, red red ex red explosive barrels. Uh, you know, every every game's uh, start. Uh, what is it? It's a it's a cliche gaming cliche at this point. But uh, hell of a lot of fun and very pretty to look at. And also, did I mention this was a very high physics game? It's it's absolutely excellent for things like this. It's just it's just insane. Like you just chop wood, and I can grab the pieces that I was chopping. Also, okay, now 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 time time for the serious business. <laughs> I'm gonna place you back in here. No, he's dead. Damn it! It's a chicken corpse now. All right, I will bring him with me. His name is Fred, and. Uh, <laughs> He's like pecking at the ground. You know, I, I wonder, how would they react to invisible chickens? I guess we will find out. Okay. 
So. The LZ is overrun. Psycho and I are moving to the signal location. Nomad, there's a checkpoint blocking the path up the valley, so deal with that first. Transmitting the coordinates now. We need to, we need to find some KPA. And throw a chicken at them. Are they suspicious of this at all? Back, 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 back. Uh oh, I think they're on to me. They've seen through my chicken disguise. Maximum strength. I like how my shadow, you can, st you can see me holding a chicken. What? what, what am I doing in my shadow? What? That's not holding a chicken at all. No. Uh oh. Damn it. Okay, that did not work. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you're actually supposed to do this part. Um, so basically, you, you wait for... Uh, whoops. Let me just go out of out of uh, cloak and let... You can just regenerate it behind any kind of objects you want. So there is a short little patrol here. So you just kind of let them continue. Okay, that's close enough. Damn it, go! Well, that took much longer than it should have. But it worked all the same, except for that guy. Oh well. I don't know if I. No, I don't have grenades yet, so I couldn't. I couldn't have thrown a grenade in there. All right. Well, well, we'll go back to the beach. So this is this is one of the things I really like about playing this is it's just you can play it in any way you want, any way you want to. Wait, did it switch automatically? Oh, it did. Cool. All right. So I have like really a lot of quick switching going on, so I can just go like this. <laughs> just, just like super. The super nano suit usage. They don't actually have keys that I can bind directly to this kind of stuff. But uh, I can, I can, I've found a way to like fiddle around with the controls and uh, make it much better for myself to basically use and, and switch between the suit modes a lot. It's a lot of fun. And it's absolutely beautiful of a game too. Like it's just absolutely, you know, there is no game that's come out in the in the past five years. Ever since this game has come out, this has been the most beautiful game I've ever seen. Like, to this day, they have not beaten it. Not even with Crisis Two and Three. In fact, I, I consider those to be much uglier than than this one. So over there, we can see a soldier. So we're gonna go and approach. Oh yes, I did not show you the uh, stealth capability of uh, this thing. So. Basically, you have unlimited usage of this uh, little mechanic, uh, but you have to be very, 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 very cautious because it's uh, it's got a bit of a time, time, time feature. Like it, you can't you can't just spam it. So it's it's meant to kind of use like this. All right, I think we got these guys. So be in the game, not 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 too hard at all. It's fairly easy. Apparently, I'm not allowed to look at my feet anymore. Whatever. But yeah, that's uh, this is Crisis for you. Uh, it's awesome, awesome game. So I think we'll leave it off here for today. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far and the pretty, pretty, pretty graphics. It's just full of eye candy and great gameplay. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.